homes have been flying off the market in record time with buyers willing to risk it all in order to seal the deal. Well, now the market is showing signs of slowing down, but risk remains. As Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young reports, a local home inspector who tried to make the buying process a little less stressful has hit a wall. Eventually, it'll rust through and it'll start leaking. When it comes to spotting anything that's wrong with a home, Preston Sandlin sees it all. Yeah, home inspector is like the guy nobody wants to invite to a party because my wife, we go to a party, she's like, oh, look at the drapes. I'm like, look at that crack over there. Look at that. <laughs> she's like, shut up. For decades, he says the real estate market has had its ebb and flows, a rather predictable rhythm of buying and selling that got completely turned upside down during the pandemic. It was such a seller's market. This time last Last year, he and realtors across the Queen City saw an alarming trend. Buyers offering unprecedented due diligence fees to take their property off the market. It definitely caused some, some major kind of headache and heartburn. In 2022, Charlotte realtor Matt Stone says these non-refundable payments frequently reach 30, 40, sometimes $100,000 compared to around 5,000 pre-pandemic. We're still seeing pretty high, even you know astronomically high due diligence fees. We are typically not typically, but we're very frequently still seeing $50,000 met as a due diligence fee on, on half million dollar homes. Stone says buyers rarely lose these payments, but when it does happen, nine times out of 10, it's because of issues found during the inspection. I personally felt like it left buyers unprotected and we kind of had a an idea to, to solve that. For the first time last year, Preston began offering walk-in talks. It's not a formal inspection, but clients could hire an inspector to tag along during a showing and point out any major issues. You're just paying them for their time. I mean, you can pay an accountant or a, a doctor or a lawyer or anything else. I mean, you call them and talk to them, you'll get a bill for their time. About one year into offering these consultations, Preston received this letter from the North Carolina Home Inspector Licensure Board saying he was potentially violating North Carolina laws for not providing a written report. While he disagrees with the complaint, he stopped. I just kind of feel sad because it, uh, you know, obviously you could say, well, you're just sad because, you know, your business or whatever. But no, I feel sad. I truly feel sad for somebody buying a home right now. Preston says he continues to get calls daily for walk and talks, but has to turn them down. Reporting in Waxhaw, Taylor Young, Queen City News.